It's not too often that when you have major projects happening, you find someone that's worked on two projects 30 years apart. Today, we're joined by Ron Nesbitt, who was the project supervisor here in Kingaroy Street 30 years ago, Ron? 30 years ago. Can you tell me whether it's true or not that when you did go down, because you guys dug about a metre, and we've in got places. images of that in places, that you found old wagon wheels and that sort of stuff. Oh, I don't know if there had too many old wagon wheels, but there was there was horseshoes. Yeah, um, right. Uh, railway spikes, bottles. Yep. All the old bottles and stuff. A lot of the pre-work's been done. You know, the, the planning, um, and of course, these projects take a lot of planning. And I guess with that planning, is that where you come up with the way you will roll out this project? That's right. The planning is very important in the early stages. We got to we got to have a bit. We got an idea of what's under the ground now, but we got to look at our processes, what pavement depths we're putting in there, what we're going to renew, and and that's been going on for years now. And we've yes. got new technologies that we we're looking at in regards to reducing the pavement depths. Right. And um, you know, if, if we if that comes off, we could only be taking apart from the. Um, lowering the level of the crown of the road in a couple of places. Yeah, because you, when you were saying before that this was nice and flat and over the years, main roads come through and, and resurfaces and so it's got quite a hump in it again. Yeah, and we've probably got pictures where it shows that it's got a nice even um, grade to the crown. Yeah. But you, know, you can see, if you look here close enough there now, you can see the, 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 the main road section's probably been resealed a couple of times or even might have had an asphalt overlay yep. on it. So, yeah. So you're talking about technologies and, and um, you know, implementing that into this project. Does that shorten the delivery time then? Speed, oh, speeds it up, which has, I guess, if that's the case, has less impact on, on the, the community? Yes. Now, a lot of this stuff, you know, a lot of this stuff was all done by hand. Even the curb and channel was probably poured by hand. We know we've got curb machines. We've got, yeah. we got excavators that, are, that can do heaps of work in, in shorter periods of time. You know, we've got... All sorts of things. We've got profilers that, you know, if we, with our pavement, they just come in and take it out and load it straight into the back of the truck so you don't need, you know, loaders and all this type yeah. of stuff. So, yeah. And so, obviously, this is all part of the plan. So, this is delivered on time and yes. hopefully within budget, which, you know, by the sounds of things and the work that's been going on behind the scenes, that that is a, a high possibility. We have a, we have an expectation, and the expectation's on all of us, just not me, but all the whole team and everyone that's been had anything to do with this, that we're going to deliver this on budget. Cole, you have worked in the main street of Kingaroy for many, many years. I'm not saying you're old. <laughs> you just mentioned before that you started working here at Copards, 16 yeah. years of age. Then you worked here for how many years? Um, about five. Yep. And then... Um, my mate Robbie Patch from the Peanut Van. Um, we decided we'd have a trip around Australia and right and see the big wide world. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then you were uh, working for John Copper. Yep. Uh, uh, for how many years? We came. I uh, came back in 1980, um, and then in 1994, Desley and I bought the business. Right. So, and you've been here ever since. So, you've seen a lot happen in the CBD in that time. And I guess one of the biggest projects that happened in that time was when they actually rebuilt King Roy Street here in front of the shop. Yeah, we were here. It was it was amazing when you think back. Um, probably when you, if you sat on the footpath here in front of the shop, you wouldn't be able to see the footpath on the other side of the shop. It had such a big um, dome in it where that over the years they'd built it up, built it up, built it up, and so eventually they had to I think had to fix up underneath. So they decided to get in and rip it all out. Yeah, right. Massive, massive um, project. You say get in and get it done. Is this the feeling you're having with? The, the CBD project, the new Kingaroy transformation project. You, uh, are you happy it's happening and you just want to see it getting done? Yeah, I'm really excited about what it's going to look like. It's it's going to bring us into the into the modern era and certainly we do need something done and I just can't wait for it to get here. Traditionally, you would have a lot of uh, elderly customers that come here to Coppards and probably have been coming to Coppards for many, many years. The safety aspect of this project with the uh, you know lowering of gutter heights and and, 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 and a nice smooth surface yeah. um, on the footpaths, how important is that going to be for your customer? They would that would be probably the two biggest things with the, the the pavers the way they are they're up and down and people try and trip over the smallest of edges. Um, Kingaroy Street, as far as the gutter, is not too bad, but Haley Street is it's horrendous. You know, it's it's over. 
that's like 30 centimetres high and people yeah. like with walking frames and they don't even have to have walking frames, it can be younger than that and more agile than that and they still have trouble trying to get up that, especially Harley Street. Yeah, absolutely. So like you, we were just talking quickly about uh, the project here when they did Kingaroy Street and, and you know, we're seeing some images of that um, 30 years ago, we're, we're, we're thinking. Um, not that long, kids. <laughs> Obviously, you guys knew it had to be done and business owners have been really heavily consulted on this project as well. You have an understanding that there's going to be some disruption in, in that space. Well, yeah, certainly. But at the end of the day, there's going to be a bigger benefit than the disruption. Isn't oh, it? greatly. And it was a concern back there in 1990, whenever it was done last time, that it would be disruptive and people wouldn't come to town because they couldn't get in here. We found it to be probably a little bit more the opposite, where people wanted to know what the hell was going on. Right. So they got in and they walked up and down the street. And during that four to six weeks, there wasn't that much of a downturn in trade at all. In fact, probably some days a little bit busier. Mate, it's exciting to see. Um, thank you very much for sharing the photos. Uh, they're really, really cool. And uh, I can't wait to come back here in about 20 months time and have a chat to you about how it looks and uh, how it feels to have this new uh, transformation project underway. It'll be great. I, I just can't wait for it to get going. Want more information? Direct any inquiries to the Kingaroy Transformation Project Office, 180 Kingaroy Street, or email ktp at southburnett.qld.gov.au or phone 4189 9100.